Hey everybody, today I want to show you how to build an effective demo hub. Stay with me for a few minutes to learn how to create a demo hub that engages your audience the right way. The first and foremost is to plan your demo hub. Before you start, you should identify the key features you want to showcase and the narrative. The idea is to think about your target audience, the persona, and tailor the entire hub's content and language to meet their specific needs. Now, when that is clear, let's open Storylane and the Demo Hub Editor. All right, let's start with the header section. Set up a catchy header for a Demo Hub. This should describe the purpose of the hub and the value it offers to your target persona. Look at our example. The goal of this header and this description is to grab attention and make viewers want to explore more. All right, now when we talk about call to actions, we suggest placing two, and usually the combination of small asks that don't require much effort from the prospects, such as read reviews, read the case study, visit pricing, and big asks such as book a demo or consult us, as well as create an account. This combination works best. Regarding the content for your sections, the goal is to organize it well, so that it's easy for viewers to find what they are looking for. Structure your content in multiple sections, grouping similar demos together. Let's look at our example here. So, first we have different products that Storyline covers. Then we demonstrate the most popular use cases. Third come the features that stand out from the competition. And lastly, we show the most popular integrations. This structure ensures a seamless experience for the viewers. Let's go to styling now. In styling, you want to match your demo hub's design with your brand. Choose colors, fonts, text sizes for header and CTAs, as well as for the sections that align with your brand guidelines. Lastly, in your demo hub configurations are the options. In options, you can decide whether you want to gate your demo hub with lead forms or to add custom scripts, in other words, Google Analytics or chatbots. Now, when it comes to lead forms, should you use them? Yes or no? Lead forms can be a powerful tool for capturing your information, but they are not always necessary. Again, consider your goals. If your primary goal is to you know, get leads, then lead forms are essential. If your goal is to provide information and build awareness, you might choose to omit them. When it comes to lead forms, if you decide to uh, use them, when you toggle them on, you can actually decide whether you want to use Storyline lead forms or to embed your own lead forms. Once that is done, you can decide when you want to place them because the timing plays a crucial role here. So, you can show lead forms at the start if your goal is to qualify leads quickly. You will have, of course, less eyeballs on the demo hub, but on the other hand, you will completely control who can see your demo hub. Or you can decide to place them after, let's say, some time. So after 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. I prefer this strategy because you're poking the bear. You're giving prospects free experience and then showing a lead form after the viewer has interacted with some content. With chatbots, you can provide real-time assistance and answer viewers' questions whenever they have them. So, once you're done, simply click Publish Hub in the right corner and you're all set to share Demo Hub with prospects. Once your Demo Hub is live and you start getting views, you can track analytics of your Demo Hub. So you can track user behavior and interactions. You can identify the most engaged prospects and how many demos they saw, as well as send these insights to HubSpot and Slack. Well-structured Demo Hub provides a quick way for your prospects to explore your product's features in one place. They can easily find all relevant information and experience your product firsthand through interactive demos ultimately improving their buying experience and helping them make informed decisions. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Uh, Demo Hub costs $50 per user seat. If you have any questions, uh, just let us know.